I would prefer not to include my name. Now I'm at home. I work doing content moderation for different companies, but they are not required to tell us who they are. The companies usually use pseudonyms, so I never really know who I'm doing the content moderation for. Some have really clear instructions with examples, and others just say something like flag the adult images, which can be interpreted very differently by different workers. I work whenever I have free time. Most of the time, it's in the evenings. But with the way the system is set up, you have to do the work when it becomes available, or else someone else will accept it and do it first. You can't wait around and do it later, or else it'll be gone, so I have to keep my eye on that. I moderate videos, photos and text, but most of the time, it's photos. I very rarely moderate videos. There is one requester that uses this system that is associated with the Mormon Church. We moderate images that go into the church genealogy archives and website. For those, you have to flag and remove anything that shows very much skin, a low-cut neckline, a swimsuit, people of the same sex who are acting affectionate toward each other, any men who are wearing women's clothing, etc. They only want approval on very modest images and absolutely nothing that could imply homosexuality, cross-dressing, or anything like that. I've seen children in sexually suggestive clothing and poses. I've also seen humans having sex with animals. I try very hard to avoid the requesters that post these kinds of images, and stick with requesters I know that generally don't have these kinds of images up for moderation. Some requesters are known for always having really graphic images, and other requesters, like the Mormon Church example, very rarely, or never have images like this. I prefer to work for these safer requesters, to reduce the chances of seeing the really awful images. When I see graphic content, I usually stop content moderation work for the day, and move on to something else. I also talk to other content moderators, and we talk about what we've seen. It's a way to get it off our chest, and talk to someone else who knows what you're talking about, and has seen similar things. I never speak with friends or family about what I do. They know I do online work, but not really any details. They've never really asked and I haven't offered anything. It's a combination between feeling good about what I'm doing, being in a powerful place to prevent other people from having to see terrible things, and having mixed feelings about the power, making decisions that someone else's photos or art, or whatever it is, must be removed or hidden from view. I feel a bit like a superhero when I think about how I might be helping a child from seeing a graphic photo, but at the same time, don't necessarily feel like it's my place to have the power to decide that the photographer shouldn't be allowed to display his, or her work. I do have a common frustration. When I see an image that needs to be tagged because it is really graphic or illegal, I flag it and then move on to the next image or the next task. There is no follow-up. I never know what happens, or if anyone saw that it was flagged, or that anyone took care of it. Maybe I flag the image and they remove it from their data set, so it's not visible online anymore. But what if there was something illegal in the image, like child pornography, that needed to be reported to the police? Does anyone at the company call the police? Does anyone try to help the child in the image? I have no idea. Since the requesters are almost always anonymous, I can't contact the company to even ask these questions. I click to flag the image, but then after that, I don't know if anyone ever cares. <laughs>